Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anupam Kushwa and uh, I'm having 12 years of IT experience and I'm working on uh, Snowflake from last three years. So today we will talk about the Snowflake uh, certifications, which all certifications are available. So if we start the journey of Snowflake certification, the first certification is SnowPro Core certification. Okay, so this is the basic certification everyone uh can can start with this one and after that we have some advanced certification so advanced certifications are basically uh, based on the roles so one is architect administrator data engineer data scientist and data analytics data analytics is not yet available but rest remaining four are already available so the prerequisite to do any of the advanced certification the course certification okay so now let's check what is the uh, details about they will ask in the course certification so snow pro course certification is uh, consisting um, like various parts okay the domain we will see that in in detail so first who all can uh, uh, do this certification so i would request everyone like who start working on the snowflake they can start uh, the snowflake certification whether they are working as a architect or a developer or anywhere you are you are using the snowflake right it will give you all the details related to the snowflake so now we will talk about the exam format so in the exam you will get total 100 questions all will be multiple select question or multiple choice questions so basically there are few questions where you need to just answer as a yes and no remaining all um, can be uh, multiple choice question only one will be the correct or multiple so they will give clear instruction like choose three right options so you need to choose three you will get total 115 minutes approx two hours to complete the certification and you will get 100 questions okay so the cost of this certification is 175 dollars and you need to score more than 750 that means the cutoff is 75 percent higher you can do this certification at online most of the means after covid it is most of the certifications are available at online only okay so this is the breakdown of the concept they will ask in the certification on the bay, uh, core certification okay so snowflake cloud data platform feature and architecture okay so this mainly talk about the architecture the snowflake architecture or what is the main feature of the snowflake it is having kind of the highest uh, uh, bucket of 20 to 25 percent you will you have the question from this part okay so architecture is very much important and all the features the unique features of snowflake that you should be aware in part of this second is account access and security okay so here you will come different types of role uh, the users and the security okay how the data is encrypted and also how uh, this this domain discuss or uh, you have question related to the security aspect of the snowflake okay third is performance concept okay so you will see some performance related questions like query is not working uh, giving the output how you can improve what all the various options by using those you can improve the query performance although snowflake is automatically kind of uh, it provides a great computation power or great performance but although if you are having like tbs of data and then you are facing some challenges how you can overcome that okay another five to ten percent of question will be coming from the data loading and unloading so <clears throat> how you can load the data into snowflake and how you can take out the data from the snowflake okay so there may be multiple questions what are what all the different ways how you can load the data in a real-time streaming fashion how you can read the data from s3 bucket or any cloud provider uh, storage okay now the data transformation in this one you will get questions related to the transformation of the data okay how you can transforming the data this will also talk about the different types of data it supports so uh, structured semi structured how it support the json xml and all okay that json and xml will also come into uh, this loading and unloading part as well 
the data transformation is also so in the new certification right the data transformation they have added new part okay previously it was not available in the earlier certification the previous version of certification but in the this certification they are also focusing on may uh, uh, on this data transformation how you can transform the data what all the different methods by which you can transform the data data protection and sharing so data sharing is one of the key feature of snowflake so this uh, domain part will consist the data sharing features domain related questions you will get so it will be 5 to 10 so if we see the main focus we need to give on the architecture security and uh, account access then data transformation and then performance aspect these are the main four if we if we talk about okay remaining all these are like five to ten so these will be easy json xml and all how you can do loading and loading of the data here how you can share your data with the same uh, the customer who has already has the snowflake account and other options is like how you can share the data who does not have the uh, snowflake account with them okay so there will be multiple questions so if we talk about the details like what will be there in the first domain okay so this will be like outlining key features so as i mentioned what all the key features of the snowflake data cloud uh, cloud data platform elastic storage okay elastic storage means it snowflake has infinite storage elastic compute you can change the compute whenever you need okay the three distinct layer okay we talked about uh, this three layers of or the uh, architecture of snowflake last time the storage layer compute layer and the cloud services layer okay then you will get some questions related to data cloud data exchange and partner network so with snowflake it is it is partnered with multiple uh, other tools and technology you need to categorize in which category these partners are and you need to remember few of the key partners in those categories you will get one one question uh, regarding this partnership and all then outlining key snowflake tools and user interfaces okay so how you can access snowflake so ui is one of the main interface in which the snow site uh, they have one option then what all the different connectors through which you can connect to snowflake the connect uh, snowflake drivers how you can do scripting and the snow park feature so snow park is a new feature which they recently uh, made it public so all these various tool through which you can connect to snowflake all those questions will be asked then outlining snowflakes cat uh, catalog and objects so what all the database objects so this will be kind of the similar for uh, all the databases so uh, all the all the database management tools okay so database schema table types view types data types udf uh, and user defined functions store procedure stream task so stream and task and pipe these are the new things in snowflake you can learn shares is also one of the new thing okay so these four things are like core or the unique feature of the snowflake you should put some of the uh, um, emphasis on these four parts then we have the sequence normal uh, data subject then you should aware about the micro partition what is micro partitions types of column metadata clustering how clustering works in uh, snowflake data storage monitoring and search optimization services so there are a lot of changes happened from the last certification so there are as soon as like there is a new services coming up they have come up with the new version of this uh, snowflake so they have previous version in 2020 now they have a new version of the certification in 2022 okay then it comes to the second domain that is account access and security so you will ask about question related to the net of security policies multi factor authentication federal authenticated uh, single sign on okay then you will get some question related to the uh, how privileges and roles work right as i mentioned previously then you will ask some means you might get asked for some account related question what is account in snowflake what is organization organization is basically a collection of different accounts databases secure views information schemas access history and read support okay information schema is like where all the information related to the snowflake like the metadata which all tables in the schema right 
all this information you will get from the information schema now third part is the performance in the performance they will ask you related the plan so whenever you run any query it generates some query plan so that plan they will ask you how you can explain any plan data spilling what the meaning of data spilling okay usage of the data cache how cache works in snowflake micro partition pruning uh, query history and all okay so these all questions will be part of the performance concept then you will ask question related to the multi clustering warehouse size warehouse setting and access how you can use uh, uh, how you can tune the size of the warehouse so that you can get the maximum output from it okay how you can monitor the warehouse load the query performance scaling up compared to the scaling out resources monitor okay optimization query performance so describe the use of materialized view and the use of specific select command okay so all these options you will get as a part of performance next is loading and unloading so in this you will get many uh, file format structure and all okay how you can perform the loading and unloading into ui then uh, i was talking about the real time streaming right so using pipe you can do that so pipe copy get insert override put stream task validate so all these part of the uh, kind of real time streaming and different different mechanism through which you can insert the data into snowflake okay then defining concept and best practices that should be considered when unloading the data so here you will get some question related to the unloading of the data what all the different file formats you can use to unload the data empty string null string how you can handle those thing unloading to a single file or a multiple file unloading to a relational tables and all okay outlining the different commands used to unload data and when they should use okay so when you will use the list command when you can use the copy into command so you need to understand now all these uh, commands well ahead to answer the question into certification okay the the next part is the data transformation okay how you can transform the data so estimate functions explain how to work with standard data estimating functions sampling supported functions type udf okay how you can create the stored procedure so stored procedure is one of the method where you can transform the data you have some data input by using stored procedure you can transform the data as per your requirement and then you can load the data okay how to work with the semi structured data okay there json xml you will get some question on it what is the variant data type okay flattening and nesting of the data so json file snowflake has out of the box feature where you can directly load the json file and you can easily query that json data as a as a table and all okay explain how to work with unstructured data okay as i mentioned previously next point we will have uh, in this uh, certification like data protection and data sharing so how you can share the data with others what is the time travel feature what is the fail safe data encryption cloning and replication these are the type of we can say the disaster recovery as well these are all part of okay the time travel replication these are the measures through which you can do the uh, uh, business continuity plan okay data recovery and all in case of some unfortunate thing happen with the database outlining snowflake data sharing capabilities so here you will ask some question related to the uh, data sharing how you can share the data uh, with the others users who has snowflake access or who does not have access okay so there are so many things okay now the main question is how you can learn about all these things okay so the best thing is just take any topic like you want to re read it right go to the documentation of snowflake if you want to read about that uh, particular thing okay snowflake documentation are really good and very descriptive in a manner where you will get everything related to the topic you want to search okay otherwise you can go to the snowflake you can uh, sorry uh, you can go to youtube there you can search for that topic you may get some video or you may get some snowflake uh, training related videos okay so i will be going to cover these all topics subsequently every week uh, in my youtube channel so that you will get all the understanding of the uh, these different topics and you can also prepare for the snowflake certification okay i did my first snowflake certification the snowflake core in 2020 june 
then i after two years i renewed it in month of uh, september uh, 2022 as well okay so that's all for today's video thank you so much for joining if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you for watching